Welcome to another tasting video. This is Jem from the Wine and Spirits Association of All Japan. For today's video, I will taste Kura White Oak Avamori aged 12 years. This is a rare and highly coveted bottle that comes from Helios Distillery in Okinawa. Now you might remember Helios Distillery from our very first video in which I tried Reki Whiskey that comes from the same distillery. Now first things first, let's begin with explaining what Avamori is. For that, I highly recommend you to watch one of our earlier videos in which I visited an Avamori bar in Tokyo and talk with the bar master to understand the complexities of this beautiful drink. But basically, Avamori is a spirit made from long grain indica rice and black koji. Black koji is different from the koji used in sake or shochu making and it leads to a more resilient drink. Now why do we want a resilient drink? Because Awamori is native to Okinawa, which is a quiet hot island. Awamori is also known to be the oldest spirit in Japan and as some claim, the oldest spirit in the world. Now this bottle is quite special because most Awamori is aged only a few years and in traditional clay pots. Whereas Kura here is aged 12 years and in white oak barrels. That and the high alcohol percentage make it a worthy rival to single malt whiskies. And indeed, if we look at the beautiful washi label, it's quite whisky-like. Uh, it is described as cask strength at 40 ABV. And we even have the name of the master blender. You see that the amber color of the drink is hardly separable from whiskey. But what about the taste? Let's find out. Immediately upon pouring, a tantalizing aroma hits the nose. It is quite different from usual Avamori. Avamori has that um, funky, slightly nutty uh, aroma character that comes from Koji, but in this one, that funkiness completely mellowed out. What we have here instead is a lot of oak. Caramel, vanilla, heather honey, and also a prominent fruitiness, ripe fruit, I'd say for sure, um, lychee and maybe pear. For me, looking at the nose, it is somewhat in between a nice bourbon and aged dark rum. And now for the palate. Wow, that's, that's really something different. The immediate sensation is um, sweet and fruity. Imagine uh, a, a pancake uh, with slices of banana, apples, drizzled with a bit of maple syrup. And then the finish is um, more citrusy, so it, it gets a bit more fresh towards the finish, which really balances things out. There's a really nice uh, harmony of flavors in here. Overall, it's super delicious. I have to say it's really mellow, it's super smooth, it doesn't burn the palate at all. It's, um, this, the, the, the sensation in the palate is really incredible. I'll be honest, if I didn't know this was Awamori, I wouldn't have guessed what kind of spirit this was. Uh, it's more mellow than bourbon, uh, but is, it is as complex as a single malt whiskey. Well, whatever we may call it, Helios has made a truly fascinating drink. It's really different in style to their whiskies like Reki, uh, but I really recommend you grab a bottle if you can find one uh, for times when you feel like experimenting as it is truly something new.
I think aged Awamori like this can really gain popularity across the world, among whiskey lovers especially. Uh, so let us know in the comments below if you tried something like this or would want to try one. See you very soon in our next video. Kanpai!